What also what a lot of people don't know, and you don't fucking know this either, is my mom had some other properties that she owned. Like she owned a place called the Pickle Barrel. A lot Where? of people don't. It was literally across the street. You know, back in the day, there was the tarot card reading place right across the street from the store. Yeah. Well, before that, years On Sunset before, Boulevard. Yeah. Before that, it was a place called the Pickle Barrel. So my mom, I'm gonna buy a place. Can just, just we're just gonna have pickles. And it's <laughs> really, yeah. Really? There's pickles from all over the world. She'd have pickles from Hungary, Wait. pickles from Poland. So as a kid, my mom always made me shut up, and she'd <laughs> she'd stick a pickle in my fucking hand, bro, with like a napkin. She'd get, just shut him up, put a pickle in his hand. So as a kid, I remember I always had a fucking pickle in my hand. Why, why does that make you be quiet? Because it's, I'm eating a pickle in my hand. I mean, you know, in my when, mouth. When the, how long? And then what happened to the pickle barrel? It went. It wasn't happening. My 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 daughter fucked it up. <laughs> what? Sandy, Sandy fucked it up. How did Sandy? How? I, know, I think she piece. managed it or something like that. Sandy had that. Yeah. The pickle place was going even when the comedy store was going. I yes. don't remember the, seeing. The I know that's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't remember. It, it was, was an undercover shit. secret, like <laughs> speakeasy pickle place. No, it was a real it was pickle. pickle. Like pickle. customers would come in and buy pickles. It just didn't do so hot. Did that? Did that building become part of the comedy store later no, on? No, it was where? across the street. It was at the tarot card reading place. Did a, you? Did you own the tarot card reading place? No, just no, the pickles. She just had the pickles. Yeah, and then she had Thai us. What's that? Which was uh, Thai food. This was before, before the House of Blues, right across the street from you know the store. Yeah, there was a, a, a it was called I forgot the name of the the cool like Hollywood restaurant, but my mom bought it from that. That was like where Ryan O'Neill used to go and all that. My mom bought it and she started a, a Thai restaurant and it was called Thai Us, and Thai she us. just had Thai food. Yeah, Thai Us, and then next door to pickles. Yeah, no, the tie us was right after that. Oh, the pickles closed. Yeah, she she trans uh, she transcended from pickles to tie. Yeah, okay, maybe that's your love of Asians. Yes, <laughs> is it probably? But then also, a lot of people don't know she had a theater in um in uh in Hollywood on the corner of Las Palmas and Sunset, and she called it the Richard Pryor Theater. Do you remember that? I do. I didn't know that was hers. Yes. So she started that, and she had a motel next to that. So she started buying all this shit, you know. You know and then she, I'm gonna get this this hotel for Richard. He's gonna work on all his stuff. And yet Richard never went once to it. To the theater? Never once. That's how much my mom loved Richard. So, uh, w tell us a Richard story that nobody knows in the, in the house, like uh, or that. Well, you know, one morning, you know, I was making my Cheerios downstairs and he says, and he started walking by, man, sorry, man, I'll, I'll see you later, weasel. And he just took off. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, <laughs> I think they had sex, but that's another story. Did your mother I have, a, so. have a, 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 I think so, an affair yeah. with Richard? Yeah. I Why do you think I don't so? know. I don't know if it was an affair. I think they probably just humped, you know, I she was humping everyone. She was like the Humpty dance, bro. The Humpty so, Day. Did you what? have sex with his mom? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I brought you on to say you are my son. <laughs> no, but I don't know that she was having sex with everyone, but she was a, she was a, she, she yeah, dated like, comics. Yeah, I remember one morning, actually a couple mornings waking up and James Lee Reeves was at the fucking house. Who? James Lee Reeves. I don't know who that he is. He was like the country comedian. He had the curly hair. He had all this shit in the box. Almost like Gary Mildeer, kind of like that. No, I remember Ollie Joe Prater. Yeah. I don't remember. She didn't do Ollie Joe Prater. I don't think so, no. No. So no. did that bother you or did that, that, that? Yeah, it bothered me. Yeah, for sure. You know, it bothered me because they were using her, obviously. You know what I mean? But, you know, she was using them, too. So it was like a big use fest, I guess, you know? Wow.